Hello everyone. So this is a case that's gaining a lot of momentum in mainstream media and also on social media. It's a, a missing woman's case. Probably a lot of you have heard of this. It's Peyton Houston from Birmingham, Alabama. So Peyton is five foot two, weight approximately 123 pounds, and she has long brown hair. Now, there's actually a £10,000 reward that's been offered by Crime Stoppers and Governor Kay of Alabama in help with finding Peyton. Now, Peyton's 29 and she was last seen around 10.45pm on Friday, December 20th, leaving the Tin Roof Bar in Birmingham, Alabama, which is located at 2709 7th Avenue South in the Lakeview area. Now it was initially reported that she left with two heavy set black males, but I know that since then the police have reviewed the CCTV footage from the bar and have not been able to identify the two black males. So I'm sure we'll need to hear more about that. She was wearing ripped blue jeans, a coral coloured hooded sweatshirt and blue Converse shoes. All in the picture on the right. At the time she was last seen, Peyton's hair was worn curly. However, she is also known to wear it straight. Although Peyton offered or appeared to leave the bar willingly, she sent a text to a friend just after midnight so a little over an hour later stating that she doesn't know who she's with so if i call please answer i feel in trouble there has been no activity on her bank account and her phone goes straight to voicemail now if you have any information regarding painting you're asked to call either birmingham police department on 205-297-8413 or Crime Stoppers on 205-254-7777. Now the parents uh, and the family have released uh, a statement regarding the kind of social media aspect and sleuthing, if you like, uh, of, of finding patent. So I just think it's important first that we we listen to that just so that we, you know, make sure that we, we find a, our rightful place in, in all of this and in trying to help. Information out tonight in the search for Peyton Houston. Birmingham police telling us today officers have not found anyone matching the description of two men that she reportedly left the 10 roof bar with that night that she disappeared. Now a $10,000 reward for any information in this case. And since she disappeared more than a week ago, that case is drawing major attention on social media, including some conspiracy theory groups. Brittany Dion tonight talking to her family about how they're coping with the social media attention, Brittany. Yeah, Jonathan, the Houston family says they are well aware of what's being said online. In fact, there have been several theory groups that have been made since Houston's disappearance. These days, social media plays a major role in getting information out during a situation like a missing persons case, especially when there's no alert system currently utilized for missing adults. But not all of that information floating around online is correct or in good taste. A social media expert we spoke to says people generally want to help, but don't realize that what they say could hinder the case and be causing more harm to the victim's family. Houston's brother weighing in on how the family is dealing with comments on social media. We see everything that's posted on social media um, and we see the good and the bad and, and we take the good and we hold that to heart and we appreciate the community support throughout this and the bad we just we kind of take it and we let it roll off the cuff and and you know move forward because there's the good outweighs the bad and that's kind of the world we live in. We just have to focus on the good. There's bad out there but we're going to focus on the good. Again, the Houston family focusing on the good. They say they do believe she will return home safe. If you happen to have any information about where Peyton Houston could be, you're asked to call police or Crime Stoppers. Live tonight in Birmingham, I'm Brittany Dion, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.
Yeah, it's also important to add that Peyton has three tattoos on her left arm. She's got one of the word faith on her wrist. She's got the word strength and an arrow on her forearm, left forearm. And you keep me safe beneath the crook of her elbow. So let's please pray for Peyton. It's been nearly two weeks now that she's been missing. So if anyone can help in any way, then please get in contact with either the Birmingham Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Or our email is underneath every video that we do. Our email is underneath there. Um, yes, let's please see if we can if we can help. So as I say, the last contact from Peyton was a was a text just after midnight, stating to a friend it was, stating that she doesn't know who she's with. So if I call, please answer. I feel in trouble. So let's just pray that there's um, there's not been any foul play involved here, and that Peyton's gonna return home safe to her, her family.